this is the exterior inspection Well the corking beads around the windows is not thick enough, it's too thin, it's going to deteriorate quickly. Probably need to re think about having that uh, repaired. The nail protruding from the roof there needs to be removed and the whole cork. We're at the front elevation, we've got a, uh, a lot of mortar missing from a mortar joint at the window sill here. That's going to allow an enormous amount of water to get in, it's got to be resealed. Now there's a bad arrangement if ever I saw one. Here we have a gutter downpipe emptying next to a roof vent. This may be an extractor vent, I don't know what type of vent it is, but obviously water could penetrate through there. Not a good arrangement. What needs to happen is very simple, is an extension put on this pipe here, the downpipe, and bring it into the gutter and then it won't come anywhere near that, uh, that vent.
driveway slopes away from the garage. So no apparent cracks or breaks in the concrete. Grading around the building is pretty okay. Could do with being a bit higher on this elevation here. But actually it was how the builder built it and the city accepted it. As long as it slopes, I think, is the main rule. What it actually says in the code, not that it means much, but it says in the code it should come to about four to six inches from the top of the foundation, never does. Okay, we're here at the rear elevation grading, looks good. There's some erosion here. Almost certainly that's uh, due just to sheer runoff and heavy rain, but a uh, small amount of erosion is to be repaired. Attic access. We're actually over the top of the house. All the heaters are installed correctly. We've got the traps. temperature pressure relief valves that work. Some signs of rust, but no great deal of rust. No signs of any extensive corrosion on the fittings. Got dielectric unions, which is good. Bonded flue pipes, which is Done the attic, got the conditioning on. Uh, we did the grading, roof covering materials, yeah, roof structure, ceilings.
Okay, we're looking at ceilings and walls, we're looking for cracks. Ceilings and walls, looking for cracks. There's no sign of any cracking in the walls externally. Final check is inside to see if we've got anything going on in here.
Yeah, and what we're looking for is the effectiveness of the insulation in the property. And what we can see here, you can see it on the on the infrared camera, I'm videoing it. It's easier for you to see it if I use a video. You see the bright lines there? Well, they are the studs. And the bright window is the window. What we don't want to see is bright patches where there are no windows or studs. You can see here we've got the cooling from the vent. It's cooling the wall. We're in the media room. All looks pretty good. So that part of the building looks pretty effectively insulated. We're going to look at the far side here. Okay, you see bright patches with your windows, lights. All looks good here. We have the bedroom here. The area where insulation is missed is on the edges, at the walls to the outside. See here, it's very bright it's because the sunlight's on it and the stud is heating up. Okay, the insulation is pretty effective. It's about 18 inches of insulation up there, which is good, good level. This is zone 4, 4, 5, and I think 7 are sprinklers, the rest are soakers. Zone 5, front right yard. Zone 7. Sprinklers, rear yard, all remaining irrigation system is soaker hoses. is on. We can't view the flame, it's in a screwed cover panel. But I'll show you that's running because it's hot. The flue is hot. 
the other furnace, it's running too. All enclosed. So both the flues operate.